So they want a first pick Zeri. BLG wants the first pick Zeri, surely, with this type of draft. They ban out Samira and Tristana. You have to ban Samira into uh, Cream. And then you, the reason why you need to, to ban out Silas is because if you pick Silas away from Cream, then he's just going to pick a Kali and just completely smurf the game. So instead of banning a Kali, generally they just ban Silas because they don't want him to be on Silas either way. Silas is more latable to everything, and Akali is a pocket counter. Wow, they don't actually go for the Zeri first pick. Crazy. Ends up being Zeri for OMG. Poppy is banned here. Look what Aki ends up playing. He was playing the, the Poppy and Trundle pretty well. I, I don't really feel like OMGs themselves when they play Viego. So I hope that's not the pick. Lee Sid is also not something that I'm, I'm a huge fan of. They take the Yumi. Okay. Pretty early Yumi pick. Yumi Sivir. Pretty solid lane. They end up going for the Vi. All right. I'm, I'm banning Lissandra here every game, by the way. Okay. They ban Lissandra. Yeah, dude, you got to ban Lissandra. If you have Vi Ari, you better ban Lissandra. I would not want to see this here from Icon. I feel like that's just not been his thing. And what is the pick going to be blind from Bin? I mean, he could go Nar, but I would love to see a Jax. I would love to see the Jax. Now, if he goes Jax, what will we see out of Shanji? We could get a potential Shen here from Shanji. I mean, what else could he pick? He could pick GP, but I actually don't feel like that's his best champion. Kennen. Kennen is not something that I like to see OMG play. And it's a lot of magic damage, though. Dave just historically not been great with this pick. End up going Sejuani. That's more in his wheelhouse, but... Okay. We'll see. We'll see. All right, I have a feeling this is going to be a... Uh, I have a feeling from draft it's going to be a BLG win. But we'll see. We'll see. Lately's most important job is just making sure that Aki is able It is what it is. Been able to do it so far, but Ooh, Aki's. Be oh, Icon. this is a kill, I think. In trouble here. Pretty sure this is a kill. Oh, Cream actually oh, did no, follow up with the flash, and Aki went over. Aki it's wants it, bro. And Cream just ditched him. Cream just said, F you, Aki. He said, Hell no, I'm not doing that. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's going to be one of these OG series. I mean, I think they're outdrafted here, right? Like, I, I think that they're going to. I mean, before the game, I thought that it was BLG favored. And OMG, there, there's no kills for them at 14 minutes. It's a rare occurrence for an OMG game. So, oh, no. Don't tell me it's going to be one of these. Almost frozen heart completed for Shanji. Okay, they're just going out to Doggo. It's actually a good kill. And they kill Crisp, too. Oh, wait, never mind. They don't. We're able to get CC out there. Oh, no, Aki. Ay, 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 man. And they can still go for Weiwei here. No. That's not. Yumi is just too broken. Trying to snowball through these fights, finding kills quickly. But speaking of finding kills quickly, I think OMG might be able to do that. Okay, they get TP. Ignite and ulti from Shanji, but TP burn from Icon is huge. Cold is going to have to flash here. He's probably just dead. Yeah, he's dead. Nice root there. Big damage on Cold. Should be finished off and way, way. Oh, he gets this kill. Almost taken down. But How many times have you been asked if you've seen now, the revive bug in the LCK? Big I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the most exciting thing that's happened in LCK in the last split, so people are, are hyped on it. Doggo might die here, though. If Doggo dies, it'd be huge. Oh my god, wait. Abel. Abel, we gotta hit some of these. Okay, can Shanji do anything here? Oh, he actually hit that on the main one. That was real. Oh, uh, they can't do anything. They can get uh, Drake at 30. They can't even get Drake. Damn. I thought that was a big win for OMG, but it just doesn't end up being much at all. I mean, Abel missed so many cues on Zeri. Also, BLG really need this win, whereas, like, OMG will still probably qualify because they end up beating V5. Ooh. Ben is getting hit. Oh, my God. The fucking tenacity, bro. Holy shit. Tenacity plus the um, Mertrez. I would assume he has legend tenacity as well. Damn. They just proc the crown. That's pretty big. Okay, they're all going on to Bin. They're trying to one-shot Bin. That's actually a really good decision from OMG. Wukong is in. I mean, they should just kill Wukong here. They really should just kill Wukong. Sivir is autoing. Oh, he gets charmed by Cream. Huge charm. Massive, massive charm. Oh my god, the Yumi got canceled by Vi. Holy shit, OMG is back. Oh, wait. Good poly. Oh my god, wait, Icon is kind of smurfing low-key. Wait, that was a fight right there, bro. That was a f***ing scrap. Pretty decisive from OMG. Oh, OMG looked like OMG there for a sec. They have to just give Drake. Drake is just too tanky. They can't do it. I mean, it was a really good decision. You could see how immediate the decision was from uh, OMG. They just instantly went over and one-shot um, the Jax. And then here, I thought that something that was really good was the charm flash from Cream. Or actually, the, the R flash or the R charm from Cream onto Doggo. And then the Vi cancels the Yumi outside of the, the jump, so that was good. And here, I thought it was going to be fine. 
flashing in. Aki tried to go for like the Q flash at a weird angle, which is pretty hard to do. Doesn't execute it. BLG ends up cleaning it up. I mean, this is zero is a problem now. Oh, Cold might get jumped on here. He gets char Dude, that charm saved his life. Icon went in anyway. Abel's on the side. Is Abel going to ult and open up here? He ulted. Oh my god, he has no E. <gasps> Wait, he gets... Oh, okay, never mind, he's just dead. Yeah, they have no damage. Without Abel, they just have to, they just have to leave. Not strong. Oh, they tried to, to ulti onto Weiwei. Weiwei reacted really well there. I can appreciate that look for a pick, but I mean, after you miss that, this soul fight is going to be extremely difficult for you. Oh, man. They thought that they got him, but they actually just hit the clone. This is a, this is a doomed fight. They just lose this super hard. GG. They can end through bot. All right, game one to BLG, so goes as expected for this game. Even though I am an OMG enjoyer, I just feel like this, this draft is just not something that I would expect OMG to win on. Okay, so game two, guys. OMG versus BLG game two. Let's see if OMG ends up with a different draft. So what was banned last time that's not banned here? So Tristana is something that's up that was banned specifically last time. The Wukong is going to be on OMG. I think Wukong was a big problem for OMG last time, so this changes things. Obviously, Akali is still pickable. Zeri is pickable here again. Uh, Sivir is pickable. So we'll see if Doggo and Crisp go for the Sivir or if they um, decide to run the Zeri this time. Okay, there's a couple lanes that, that people would be willing to play here. I mean, Tristana plus Nautilus is what I would think you'd play if, if it ends up being a, a Zeri Yumi. So I, I actually feel like BLG should go Sivir here if they want to first pick the Yumi like this. Because the way you beat a, a Sivir Yumi is different than the way you beat a Zeri Yumi. Because obviously Sivir has spell shield. There's a Trist. There's a Nautilus. Hey, bro, what I tell you? That's the lane. So, I mean, let's see how it goes. This is what you'd expect to be the counter. It makes sense because Nautilus is, is good into Zeri. And it's also, like, decent into Yumi if you have the ability to engage. And then Tristana is uh, counter to Zeri. And Tristana was banned game one. So, these are, like, the clues that you use to deduce the Trist Nautilus. Zin Zhao is banned into Weiwei. I like that. I would probably ban the Jax here if it was me because I, I, I don't want to see Bin on Jax again. Even though it wasn't an issue. Okay. And yeah, they banned the Jax. I think that's smart. I think that's correct as well. Because you, you really don't want to have to deal with a, a bin jax especially like if you're gonna have to blind pick into it it's just not good well there's a couple things that we could see here so i assume that you take jungle here and then you counter pick top laner on five they take trundle i mean trundle can be okay into nautilus but it, he doesn't have like too many free tank stats here it could go less does cream play lissandra though oh here's the one here's the one Cassidy. Cassidy would be a cream champion. I don't know if you'd go for it. It's actually looking pretty good in this game, I think. I think Cassidy low-key looks looks pretty fire in this game, but I mean, I don't know if he wants to risk it to that degree. But like, if you look at this game, like they have not much CC on the enemy team, which is good for Cassidy. Jungler is not something that like has the ability to stay on you easily. Like Trundle Pillar doesn't really affect Cassidy at all. Low-key would be a super good pick, but is he just going to go Akali anyway? I mean, he's just an Akali guy, so he's just, he's locking in his pick, bro. He is a collie. Cream is a collie. He's just going to pick it. Well, I'd say that this game is going better for um, OMG than the last one was. Like, they definitely have more angles to create action now, and it doesn't feel as doomed in a, in terms of scaling sense. Obviously, the Yumi's going to be a problem. That being said, like, this Akali could do a lot of work in fights. Of the Cyclone coming through, and look at the minimap. Bold bot lanes are coming, much. Bold bot lanes are coming! Okay, we've got a scrap on our hands. Has Bin's been caught? Hey, Bin get, uh, gets his flash forced. Now, wait, wait, in trouble as here comes Doggo. Cold is getting one shot. Cold gets one shot. Let's see what 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 Cream can do here. Let's see if he can work his magic. It's looking kind of doomed for him though. But his team is falling down around him. Shanji next to fall as he does take the hold. Shanji crucial uh -oh. denying that one, but it ain't enough. That was not good. That was not good for him. <laughs> OMG, I mean, they just didn't have level 6 on their Nautilus. Their Nautilus just walks in and dies, so kind of doomed. And they didn't even pick up Herald. Oh, Lord. That is tough. They're really far behind. I mean, Weiwei has just been completely outpathing Aki, though. Aki's had a pretty bad series, to be fair. Mm. <laughs> this is looking kind of rough. They can look for these aggressive invades. They can the more that I'm seeing now, this, I feel like Abel should have probably just taken cleanse. Oh, Aki's here, though. He's got no summoners. Abel's in big trouble here. He's just <laughs> Aki's just going to let him die. Pushed I mean, I guess he has no ult, so there's nothing he can actually do there. Feels bad. 
in the brush here. Ooh, they go into crisp here. There's a hook. And Aki, Aki actually is behind. Knock up onto Wait, well. this is actually Gold, good. I mean, he had to let his boy die there. Give it to, to Kali. Yes, thank you. It has no flash. As soon as he goes mini, they're jumping on him. It's going to go for the straight dive. They're giving Drake going for the straight dive. They can kill him here. They have to hit the hook. Oh, he got it. Clean. Clean, clean, clean. clean. I like that. Okay. OMG's not out of the game yet. They had a really disastrous Herald fight, but they're actually chilling kind of hard here. Shanji's getting some plates. I don't think team fights are as hard for them. Like once Akali and, and Gwen both get strong. I mean, you can't exhaust both and they're both going to come in from different angles. So not bad. It's like if Fnatic ended up 2-0-ing, like let's say Fnatic played, uh, play, we're playing best of three. Oh, this is actually really big. Huge. Huge. And they get the kill onto Yumi as well. Huge kill. Aki, don't take that, bro. Give it to the Triss, please, man. Trying to kill Abel. I mean, Icon's pretty oom. He does have TP, though, so I think OMG just have to give it. Yeah, I mean, they didn't have, like, everything there. You know, like, they don't have flashes on both Nautilus and Wukong, so it's hard for them to actually force this fight. I guess at the end of the day, it was enough for them to get the objective, going to utilize the TP right away and try to keep up pressure on this top side. Dream is on to Icon right here. The Shuriken's there, but he's locked up. Oh. Isn't enough. Gets the kill. Way, way. That's tough. That's tough. To it's normally a mistake you can't make. Look, Bin's actually roaming over to mid lane. Cold is just dead. Down onto Cold, but... Uh... Cold trying to turn it around. He's just gonna fall. Yeah, I have no clue what Cole's doing here. This is just a, a super disrespectful thing to do. Like you just saw the trundle in this area, and you know that your mid laner is dead. I don't know what Cole's doing. But like, my God, man, that like that wasn't that wasn't even really close. Let's be honest. Okay. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. Cream actually smurfed it. He actually hit the um the R2 onto the Zeri. Was able to kill him. What do you think of Zanya's Russian Nautilus? So the idea is when you're playing into a Trundle, you don't want to give him free stats. So you're trying not to build super tanky items. Items, and Zanya's allows you to like get a rotation of spells off, and then if you Zanya's, you can kind of like pseudo frontline for your team. I normally don't like Zanya's rush on Nautilus and Leona. Like I've been seeing people do it for a while now. I'm not a huge fan of it, but that is the logic at least. BLG just not giving a single inch. They are trying to buy so much space for the team, but Cold's on a flank. The TP's coming in as well. Oh, they get so much damage onto Bin. Oh, Abel's kind of smurfing. I mean, Weiwei looks like he's just dead. Oh, never mind. He ends up living. Yumi gaming. Abel was so strong there. Abel was able to do so much there. Holy. And now it's just Zary. And now we're just Zarying all over the place. He wants a bit of redemption as he charges forward with the Zoomies. Shanji will fall. Another goes down. Aki first to move in. Okay. It bins moving in from the side. Dude, so many people lived with like one HP. Pretty unfortunate here. Oh, he actually gets one. Abel. Oh no, where is he jumping to? Oh, he transformed Mega. Okay, they can't do Baron though now. They actually can't do Baron though with these people alive. So they're gonna have to just push. Not the end of the world. I mean, that's a that's a team fight that you definitely don't want to win, but it's not game over because they don't lose Baron here. You still have the sustain, like you still have the ability to like sustain off a wave, um, but then you actually just hit your item spike better. Oh, they! Oh my God! Abel just jumped directly on Icon. Okay, he just tried to one v one Icon and got one shot. Weiwei's dead on the other side of it though. Oh, Doggo got hit. Doggo got hit. Damn, can't do it. Abel thought he was strong enough, but I mean, he just he just got one shot. Obviously, I mean, I think he wanted his team to come follow him up, but. Cream jumped onto Icon, which I feel like is what gave Abel the confidence to rocket jump over the wall. Instantly pieced out. Ooh, he hit it. He hit it. Oh, <gasps> Does he smurf on him? Oh my god, he smurfed on his face. He literally shit on his face. 900 gold to the Akali. I mean, that's big, but like, it just feels like they're just losing control of the game. Trade health bars, because he'll get topped up once again by Chris Bickhold. Oh, they're going onto Icon. <gasps> Icon, he hit E. He hit E. He's going all over the map. Oh my god, he loses one HP. The auto attack doesn't kill him. Oh man, that's so unfortunate, bro. That's so unfortunate that Icon lived. Oh man. That's tough right there. That is fucking tough, bro. Icon lived with like 10 HP or some shit. BLG's playoff dreams are alive and well and going forward confidently. I mean, BLG, I mean, the 2-0 is big for BLG game score-wise. Ooh, BLG 2-0s them, bro.
PLG, I mean, man, they had they, they even had a, a chance to win their last series versus V5. They actually had a chance to uh, beat V5 on Tuesday. They just weren't able to do it. If they were able to get that series win, it would actually just be like it, completely fine for playoffs right now. So OMG is definitely not out by any means. They still essentially control their own destiny because the teams have won so many games to split. The top teams are so dominant, 13-1, 13-2, 11-2, 11-3. They're not out by any means. So this is obviously really good for BLG. Um, LNG actually lost yesterday too, so who knows how many wins LNG ends up on. But OMG moving down to 7-8 and eight should be okay as long as they are able to beat IG during Week 10. So that's a big series for them. They got to beat IG. Now for BLG, they improved their game score by 2. So they're only minus five game score. And their next series is versus WE, which they should be able to 2-0 again, right? So assuming that they, they get to minus three game score on seven wins, it's really going to be... Uh, we're going to have to see how like FPX ends up doing in the next series um, that they play because FPX plays against WE as well. So hopefully they 2-0 that. But if they get 2-0'd by Weibo, then FPX moves to uh, minus four. Or actually, no, they'll still be minus two if they end up beating WE. But if they drop the game to WE, then then it gets a little bit hairy. So FPX still has decent advantage over um, over BLG. I mean, obviously, if any of these teams start losing, it's rough. It's really interesting to, to see how this is all going to work out. I think anyone's legend is going to drop down to potentially minus five, um, which is really what you're looking at. So this bracket here is what you're looking at. This is what's going to determine the ties. But anyone's legend, I mean, I assume they're going to get 2-0, 2-0, 2-0'd. If they get 6-0'd, they're going to be down to minus five. That's going to be tough for them. So, I mean, I think Anyone's Legend is one of the two teams that is not going to make it out of these six. OMG still should be fine. I mean, the good thing for OMG as well is that they're only minus two in game score after this. So even if they somehow got like 2 one by IG, like they would still only be minus three. So that wouldn't be bad. TT, they looked kind of rough versus LGD and they have three series left. They play against RNG, Ultra Prime and RA. So this is going to determine like if they're able to get to eight wins. But if TT don't get to eight wins, they're minus four. Could be rough. So... We're going to have to, to really just track the game score, track how everything goes. But obviously, big win for BLG. It keeps them in playoff contention. OMG could have essentially clinched playoffs. Not technically, but essentially they could have clinched playoffs with this win. They don't end up getting it. So we're going to have to see how the, the next games play out.